So it's another day, another video. And uh, we had a question from uh, Pauline earlier on. And I just literally thought, right, I'm just going to literally rip another video. It's probably easier for me to uh, rip a video than sort of like message up. So uh, it might come in handy for other people as well. Um, so Pauline was asking about our hob cover. So I presume we're talking about this little baby here. So I've just been looking through. Um, we were sort of like, where did we end up getting that thing from? And we, I cannot remember whether I got it from uh, a shop in Germany or not. But anyway, I'm sure, so I'm just going to show you this. I'm sure maybe this is probably going to be available on kind of Amazon or something like that. Or maybe a good um, kitchen accessory uh, shop. Um, We've got a bit of a, uh, a collection, just move that up there. We've got a bit of a collection of these things uh, sort of over the, over the time we've been um, in our motor home. This one here is a um, bit of a, like a heat one. So it's ideal to put like, hot pans on. Anyway, back to that one, Pauline. Um, where the hell did we get that? <laughs> I can't remember. Um, but I'm sure if you went to a kitchen store um, I'll leave it with me. I'll see if I can find it. If we can find where this Yippee! little baby has come from uh, and get a link to it in the description. Uh, but we'll have to um, see what we can do. I'm going to have a rake around um, Amazon. But uh, basically, it's almost like a universal like draining so um if you like wash your dishes and you want to stand your dishes on that you can uh, you can use it as a bit of a draining um device as well uh we don't actually sort of tend to use it to it, it just we just have it sitting here um it's always handy to have it if you want to um do something a bit messy it's always like washable and stuff but uh there we go it's like a rubbery kind of mat and uh, basically that's that one uh we're gonna i'm just gonna swing right so we're just gonna like swing on round yeah so that one there back to this um little one we've got here we just uh picked this up in a in a hardware store somewhere along the lines it looked uh, uh you know like it could be handy and uh, we have it like sitting around here normally this uh like ready orangey style one here um is for our um nespresso uh, milk frother. We normally plonk that on there because the, normally the machine sits up on that little mat up on the uh, the board here. But uh, that one normally houses the frother, so uh, keeps it stable, stops it sliding around anywhere, and uh, that's all good. I, I've just pulled this out of one of my bottom cupboards actually because I've got this um, skillet. Is it a skillet? So hot pans. So if you want to, these are like so handy for hot pans. Um, yeah. Rubber, again, the rubber, that would actually sit on top of your cooking surface as well. Let's just plonk it on there. And it's got them like nice rubbery bits on there to stop it sliding around. So you can uh, put your pans on there, wherever like location you want to actually put it. Um, so there's a couple of little things we got uh, kicking around our little uh, kitchen area. Um, yeah, so storage. <laughs> storage where do we start so we have our cupboards up the top um and so in a box up here we have our extra coffee capsules um that we just replenish our holder on the uh, on the wall here and uh, obviously these are our magnetic glasses and uh, spice jars over the back there um yeah so we have these kind of containers, this is my breakfast cereal container, um, OXO is it, OXO, so good kitchen retailers have these kind of bins in for your cereal. We just make it, try and make it really easy and nice inside your motorhome, you know how much we love it. We have some, again I think these are OXO style brand, is it OXO, I can see the little logo on there. Oxo plastic. These are like these venti things for kind of pasta. Um, droid. There's another one up there as well. So we have a, a couple of these um, nice sealable for your pasta and stuff in there. Uh, what else have we got up here? Um, oh, I've got a couple of me little thermos. So we got our little thermos flasks that we take. So if you ever want to take any coffee. A um, couple of little uh, cups, and obviously you get in the top of these, you get a spoon, so it's really handy for taking a little bit of soup um, on the uh, winter's trips and stuff. If you want to chuck one of them in your bag with some nice hot soup in or some hot, hot coffee or tea. 
Um, yeah, we just keep it, trying to keep it super organized. Um, we have the, actually the, the coffee has just disappeared in our house, but we've normally got three of these, which is tea bags at the back. And uh, we have sugar and the coffee in these, uh, again, these smaller cubed, airtight, easy to open, no stress. There you go. And uh, that's them. And then, well, then we've got a couple of these storage bins. So these, again, these came from John Lewis. I love these because they're um, they're clipped together. Uh, so you can, so they basically house all our um, some sauces and and um, v vinegars and salt and peppers and stuff that are some extra stuff that we want to take. And uh, obviously they've got that little cut out at the front, so uh, you can almost like see what's in there barbecue sauce, um, tomato ketchup. Um, I've just taken this one down from the top shelf as well. So we have this little um, holder as well. Again, uh, vinegar, mild curry, garlic grinder. Um, yeah, just putting little, little bottles in and uh, obviously they're compartmented up so uh, you can, you know, you can just like jam them up a bit um, if you want to squeeze them in and um, so obviously it stops them rattling around when you're when you're traveling, but um, but again, you know they they don't seem to rattle up, they're up in the cupboard, but uh, that that great little item and that will sit oh without the vinegar in to go through the cupboard entrance. We'll just remove the vinegar, and uh, then that sits up there, and uh, it's really nice up in the cupboard, and uh, just plonk the vinegar. We tend to, um, you know what it's like when you're home with your motor home, um, sometimes it's like, oh, I need the brown, the brown sauce has just vanished into our house. We've run out of brown sauce. So we've uh, been um, using a bit of uh, stuff from inside our motor home. Um, oh, so going on from there. Um, yeah, so we have um, our little wooden um, holder for when we're dining outside. I, I love it. To, it just feels like you're in a bit of a, restaurant -y kind of place, put your ketchup in there, put your uh, sauces, your vinegar, salt and pepper. It's always nice out on the table. Just makes it feel good. Makes me feel good. I love it. Um, oh, so store the bowls. So storage but, um, for, for bowls. So these are the magnetic ones. So they stick together really nice. So there's no problem there about rattling anyway. But um, in between our bowls um, that can rattle, we have these little uh, felty style um, protectors that just sit together. So that just stops your rattles, look. And on what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna dive down in this cupboard. So normally these here will just sit on the top of there and that, that's, that's good enough for them. They don't rattle around, uh, they sit on our plates. So our little, uh, so we have got this, again, it's a little um, like ratchet style. So we put, you put your plates in and get it to set to your size and it just holds your plates in. And uh, there's rubber pads in between to stop the rattles. That ca they came, it came from a German uh, motorhome dealer actually. Um, but really, we just love it. You know, if, if you ever, you know, get to Germany, go in one of the dealers out there. And uh, I, I don't know whether anybody's got anything like this in England, but if not, you know, your little um, felty pads can do the same job, really. I'll uh, put them back in there. We've always got, we've always got loads of these pe felty pads booting around. And at the moment, my uh, magnetic bowls are just sitting in there quite nicely. Um, yeah, we keep our coasters in there. We've got some little fruit juice, um, which match the um, color of these in the back there. So when we want our nice fresh orange in the morning, um, dropping down to, so obviously if, you, if you've probably watched the video of our storage containers, the epic storage container um, venture that we're uh, trying to find these uh, storage boxes that we got from John Lewis, this is the slightly taller one. It's the same size in white, but it's taller. So we ended up at that time, we were trying to fit out all these um, um, bins and stuff. So this was the ideal for our coffee machine. So it's stowed away down here. Uh, the milk frother sits in there as well with all the, um, 
the, the holder for the milk proffer down there. We always keep our oil in there as well. We got our olive oil in there, which is always, because uh, that needs to stand up and uh, it's a bit taller in this bottle, but uh, it's in the bottom there. If you do get any leaks, you can uh, easily um, clean that up, address that. Uh, my, my skillet normally, normally sits in there with the rubber facing the, like that. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> get it in there, Geoff, get it in there, there's, uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, he'll, he'll sit in there and uh, he's, he's fine. We have some uh, cut chopping boards down there. Let me just uh, come around. And uh, so in the side of there, obviously we keep our um, uh, couple of chopping boards uh, just universal, you know the score. We've got Mo Hotel Adventures, obviously a wooden one, and there's a bigger one, and our table placemats in there tucked away as well. So when we're doing our fine dining and stuff. So that's in that drawer. Lovely. Okay. Moving on, moving on. So we always carry a little washing up bowl. We never use our sink um, as regards when you are clunking around the cutlery in the sink, let me just, uh, oh, that doubles the chopping board as well, just while we're at it. So that comes out of there. And then I'm just gonna grab my little bowl down that fits in. Oh, remove the sponge, Joff. I'm not really the washing up person in this motor home. Caroline is definitely the washing up person. But that one there fits beautifully in there. So when you've got the knives and forks, and you can see how lot worn this bowl is, you know, this has been an absolute godsend. It's just saved us so much um, clunking around in the, uh, and it just saves it. You know, if, if we, like I say, if we ever sell this motor around, the sink's gonna, I, I hate sort of, <laughs> it's just, just them sort of the pet hates in it. But um, we get a sink where it's like scratched and, uh, you know, just get yourself a little bloody bowl for, these are, these, these bowls are like minuscule in price, you know, it's just, it's literally finding the right size. So we used to just keep our eye open, keep it. There it is, there it is. Just keep the measurements with you. There it is. If, if yeah, maybe I need to measure this. Um, another video, measuring your sink. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll, we won't get too involved in that anyway, but just emphasizing that uh, little um, issue of, uh, you know, just keeping your, your, your sink nice and tidy and uh, so we'll flick that back on there and uh, put our little mat back on that one and then back up into this cupboard will go the bowl so which I have got some wooden trays that they normally fit in there there's a um, we've got a nice uh, non-strip tray there for oven use um, in our gas oven if we, we don't use it that often but occasionally when we want to use the gas oven, that is the cooking tray up there for that non-stick tray that fits in the oven. This is a Brabantia bread box that I have put some of these foamy pads in. So it's um, la literally sat in between these two shelves. So another of my little pet hates is breadcrumbs, um, croissant. So, oh look, in there, there's an, orange, uh, an onion peeling. So that onion peeling would be in my cupboard if it wasn't in that bread box, okay? So I, I put bread in there, I put peppers, I put onions, um, I put bread rolls. They'll be, you'll be saying, doesn't your bread rolls stay, taste of onion? Not yet, no, not yet, no. Well, they're normally in a sealed bag, bag anyway, aren't they? So, um, okay, moving on. So in there is a um, plastic jug. So, uh, omelettes, uh, what else do we use that for? Omelettes, milk, eggs. Um, I'm no Jamie Oliver, but um, I can knock up an omelette. Uh, so yeah, a nice little um, jug in there for whipping up a, an, an omelette. Um, moving on, moving on. So here is another, the storage boxes in the floor that um, these were John Lewis ones, another one. Uh, and basically just for what have I got in there? I've got a sieve. I've got an expandable sieve. I've got some, I've got a spatula there. 
Um, I have a few bits and pieces. I've got my espresso, some more espresso cups in there. A um, few just general bits and pieces that you want to take with you. Just a general kitchen sort of bin with some stuff in. But uh, again, sits in there, doesn't give us any aggravation. Um, up on the top, we have our ice buckets. We have a, a couple of frying pans with the felt in between with a sieve for sieving off your um, uh, boiled rice. Um, again, one of our little tips is if you're buying saucepans, um, there's our big tea fowl one uh, that's um, got the lid inside and everything. It's just, it, it's got one of them boxes you can put, put it back in. So he sits in that there really nice up on the top. Excuse me, I'm yawning. Must be getting tired in time for me tea. Um, boiled egg cups sat in the end. We did have, we've, we had some glass holders here, these um, little uh, makeup ones, but we've taken them out at the moment because we're now utilizing our um, magnetic ones that we seem to be uh, really embracing these ones at the moment. These are like, so nice, they feel so good. And uh, so we've got the uh, longer ones up there. Um, moving on around. So yeah, while we're on the subject, so yeah, up on that top cob cupboard above my bread bin, we have um, our lovely wooden tray. Um, hope I've missed anything here, Pauline. Oh, we're like, getting it all in. But anyway, yeah, just gonna crack on round um, and just show you what we're sort of doing with our stuff. Um, so we're back to our little, well, I love my wooden tray. And obviously this is my magnetized um, uh, drinkware. Um, our little um, rum tumblers that we use and our, um, depending on mood, um, well, we got our nice coffee cups there and uh, these are the magnetic sort of coffee to go style that um, go on these um, these uh, nano pads that you can put anywhere, you know, the score with a nano pad, you stick it on anywhere and, uh, uh, well, roughly anywhere and uh, you can um, stow your, your coffee cup on that magnetic bit you know that right okay which i've done i've done this quite uh we've, we've shown these before on separate videos but um yeah so i hope storage solutions in a motor home um have we missed anything fairy liquid sat up in the corner there um yeah okay um, yeah, just just one little bonus before I go. Let's turn that light on there. So by our door here, we have these lovely um, little cube boxes while we're on the stor storage subject. And uh, I've got uh, in there, there's the um, anti-slip matting that uh, I, I've fitted in to protect it. So these little boxes sit in here, they're, they're, they're like universal sizes and stuff. So we've ended up in this little compartment with this small one here. Um, and basically, uh, what, what goes in here? I've, I've got a bottle opener, a little bit of loose change. Sometimes I'll just lob my keys in there so I know where they are. And um, yeah, so really handy. Sometimes if you're outside when I want to uh, open a bottle, you can just pop your hand in. I know where it is all the time. This one here is um, retaining my uh, torch. Obviously really handy right by the door. Uh, there's a pair of old sunglasses that I keep by the door as well. And uh, basically just a few little item. You know, it's just a, that, that's the longer one. Um, but they just sit in here um, just to uh, chuck a few little odds and ends in. Stuff that you want to hand. Um, yeah, and we have these in our bathroom cabinet as well. Uh, we have a load of these in our ca bathroom cabinet and they're absolutely superb for um, holding all your little um, deodorant cans, uh, shower gels, tablets, paracetamol boxes. Um, Caroline's got, you know, lippies, bloody... <laughs> All I've got is an aftershave bottle. <laughs> yes. So uh, no, so basically they're, they're really handy for that little kid. These were John Lewis as well. Mega little boxes. Um, I know everybody's going to say to me, Joff, you go to bloody John Lewis too much, and it's expensive. But hey, when we were decking out this motorhome, the name of the game was we wanted stuff to like last. Um, you know, as as long as we can, possibly can, and we just wanted to um, try and give it the best quality it deserved. And um, yeah, so we, and, and the, the passion we have for our motorhome and uh, basically, um, yeah, there was, there was, you know, we just like tried to get the best stuff fitted in 
and uh, it's it, it's paid dividends so far. We you know we we don't want when you're on your your holidays, when you go on your trips, there's nothing worse than getting stressed out. Get it all organised so you know exactly where it is, and um, it it just makes it so much better. Right, I uh, I hope. Um, that sort of answered a few of your questions, Paul, and just to have a look around. I know it'd be really useful to get um, them, them mats. So I'll, I'll do my best to try and uh, find um, them, a, a link to them sort of style mats if I possibly can. But uh, there we go. I hope that sort of like enlightened you a little bit. A few storage solutions that we use and seem to work. Um, I'm going in for my tea now. I'm getting hungry. And uh, thanks for watching and we appreciate you giving us a thumbs up and uh, maybe another comment. Thanks a lot. We'll catch you later.